How's it going everybody? Jason Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I have a fun tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how you can create an animated path on a map. And think of Indiana Jones movies and they have the music with the cloud shot and the airplane shot kind of dissolving in and out of a map. So here's, here's what we'll be recreating. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm only going to be showing you how to create this path and the animations involved. We're not going to be creating this map or, any, or anything else, it's just simply the path. So let's get started. For my first step, I want to get my composition set up. So if I go down here and click create a new composition and I'll call it animated map and we have the standard 1920 by 1080 HD video and we'll have the duration. I want my animation to be about 10 seconds in length, so I'll give it a little bit of extra here. So I'll make it 12 seconds, and then we'll click OK. So we have our composition here, and as I stated before, we already have our map here. And if we double click here, I have this vintage map graphic, which is very high in resolution, which is good because what I want to do here for this animation is I want to have a high enough resolution where I can zoom in and move around on this map. And if you look over here, it's definitely um, of a high enough resolution to do that. So let's go and drop our map in here. And you can get, if you want to go to Shutterstock and check out, they have a variety of different maps that you can choose from if you want to if you don't have anything to work with. So I have this in my comp now and I could go down here and move it around, zoom in, zoom out. But what I want to do is I want to create, I, I don't want to have to animate my map directly. So what I'm going to do is create a null object which will allow me to move the map around once I parent the map to the null object. So then I can control the null object and it will adjust my map accordingly. So if you go to new null object so we have our null object here, and now we want to parent our map to the null object. So if you go over here to the pick whip, and you can go over here and select the null object, or you can just use the drop down menu here. And I'm going to rename this something uh, like animation controls, because I'm going to use this to control my map. So now you see when we move our null object around, the map moves around accordingly. So we have our composition all set up. Now we want to start creating some things. So the first thing we want to do is add some location markers. So where is our fictional character? Where is our Indiana Jones going to travel on the map? So I'll create four different locations. And let's first we want to zoom in on the map here. So grab your null object, your animation controls, and zoom right in. Let's say our character is going to start off in Egypt, go to Italy, maybe Venice, go down to Morocco, and then we'll fly him back to the United States, somewhere in New England. I think in the movies, Indiana Jones was a professor somewhere in New England. So let's do that. Let's create four different location markers. So to create the location markers, I'm, I'm using the ellipse tool uh, shape layer. So if we go down, you see there's the ellipse tool here. And make sure you don't have any other layers selected, otherwise it'll work as a mask. So if I deselect, you can see we have our shape controls here. So we want to let's say we want these to be red right now there's no fill selected so let's make our fill a solid color and we don't want any stroke so select stroke and then we're gonna select this button here none okay now we can go over here and let's do our first marker and I'm gonna hold the shift key as I create this so there's our first location marker and now you can see down here we have the shape layer and to keep everything nice and neat I am going to rename this Egypt. So now we know that's our Egypt location marker. And we want our location marker to follow around our animation controls. So what we could do is I could I want this to stick to our map. So I'm going to parent this to the map. Grab our pick whip, select the map. So now we have that and I'm going to move it down to the middle here. Keep our animation controls at the top. Okay, so we have Egypt here, it's parented. Now, if I move our animation controls, you're gonna see the location marker follows along. I'll go ahead and undo. Okay, so now to create our other 
locations, I'm going to simply duplicate this location marker. So when I duplicate it, everything's going to follow along the size, also our parent controls. So now I'll just rename this, call it Italy, and now I'm going to move this around. I'm using the shift and arrow keys here to move it around on my map. So let's move it over to where Venice might be. Okay, there's our second location. And we'll duplicate again. And to duplicate, I'm doing Command-D. So now we want to do Morocco. Uh, I think that's how you spell Morocco. With the layer selected, I'll move this down somewhere like maybe the Casablanca area. I don't know where that is exactly. OK, and for our last location, we want to go all the way back to the United States. So let's zoom out somewhere in New England. Indiana's flying back home to go teach at university. So we'll grab the Morocco layer, Command-D to duplicate, and then I'm going to shift and left arrow to bring this one all the way over here and just general New England area. OK, and we'll rename our layer United States. And I'll close this. OK, now if I zoom out, oh, I'll reopen this actually. And let's just reset. OK, and so we have our location markers here. Next up, we're going to draw our path between these location markers. To create our path, I'm going to use the pen tool. So we go over here and select the pen tool. And for this path, we want to create just a stroke. We don't want to have a fill. So I'm going to select fill, none. Click OK. And for stroke, go over here and select solid color. Select OK. Is that red color? That's fine. 15 pixels might be fine. We can change all of these settings. I'm going to zoom back in and we'll start to draw our path. Now we want our character to start off in Egypt. And again, make sure that none of these layers are selected because we want to create a new layer. So I'm going to close this. And then I'll start to draw here. I'll just simply click in the order of our location markers. And I'm going to open this back up and move our map around. Whoops, I'm going to undo. So see what we, we didn't do there? The well, first thing we need to do is parent our path. And again, I'm going to parent this to our map. So grab the pick whip, select here. And then I'm just going to, before we get too confused, I'm going to rename this to path. So we know that this is our path. And we don't want to have the same label color as all of our location markers. So I'll go ahead and select something like uh, yellow just to keep everything kind of easy to see here. And now we're going to grab our animation controls and move our map again. And the path should move along. There we go. We just need to click once. There we go. And then we'll complete our path there. So now we have our, our simple our simple path here. And we can close this or reset and see our path. So there's our path. Now I'm going through this pretty quick, but you can you can design with all the options you have here, you can you can really design and customize your your path and location markers exactly how you want. Right now we're seeing the path on top of the location markers. I'm gonna simply move this down so our location markers are on top of our path. And now I can open up our path and contents. And you can see under the shape options here, we have our stroke options. If we open up stroke, again, you can customize this. You can change the color. You can change the width if we want to make that a little bit more narrow. Um, I can change the butt cap to round cap. And actually, I want to add some dashes. So if I select a dash, and then it, right now it's at 10, let's see. As I move this, check out what's happening to our path. It's creating little dashes. So we'll do that. Let's say 50, maybe even less, 45. There we go. Well, let's see here. I want it to be kind of a lot. Let's go all the way down to 30. OK. So now we have our path. We've done a little bit of design work on it. We'll close all these. Now let's animate this. OK, to animate the path, all I need to do, it's quite simple, select our path, go down here under contents, we have our shape here, and you'll see this little add button over here. If I click on add, there's a variety of different effects we can do here. I'm going to add a trim paths effect here. 
So you'll see it adds it here. When I open up trim pass, you'll see we have a start and an end and an offset. Now watch what happens when I adjust the end effect. It's trimming the path down. So now all I need to do to bring this to life is add keyframes to our end. So if I start off at zero and I go to 100, we're going to have an animated path. So just by adding two keyframes, watch what happened. There we go. We have our animated path. Now all I need to do to time this out is to grab our end keyframe. And I said, as I said before, I want this to be about 10 seconds in length. So I can start it. Let's say we want to start it right. Well, let's start it right at the beginning. So now I'll grab the end keyframe and bring it to about 10 seconds. Now if I grab my animation controls and select reset, and I just drag my playhead here. Let me deselect so we can actually see what's going on. Now watch what happens. Go to the beginning and now we have a little bit of an animated path. Now again I adjusted the end settings here. You may need to switch this accordingly. You may need to, depending on how you drew your keyframes in your path, you may need to animate the start and actually in the shape controls you can change the direction of the path. So tweak those to, to make it adjust your certain project. Okay, now we have our path animated, we have our location markers, everything's good to go. All we need to do now to bring this to life is we're going to go up to our animation controls and we're going to give our little bit, our animation controls here, a little bit of movement. So let's zoom in here. We want to be zoomed in on the location. So let's put the position here. Let's say we want to kind of follow along this motion path. So, kind of put it to how you want, select our position, add a keyframe, and we'll start here, and then we want to end in the United States. So let's go over here, and let's adjust our position of our animation controls, which everything is kind of connected to here, and then we'll add an end keyframe. Oh, we already have our keyframe added there. so. Let's see how this looks now. So now we've animated our map and everything to follow along the path by just adding a simple X position animation. And we can adjust this accordingly. We probably want to add an easy ease here. Now for the final, final touch, again we can design, we can design this, keep customizing it to our heart's content. Whoops, ease out. Let's make an ease out. What I want to do now ease out. What I want to do now is I, I want my location markers to fade in as the path reaches the location. So to do that, simple enough, we just add opacity keyframes to each of our location markers. So the first one in Egypt, that one won't dissolve in, that one will leave. But for all the others, we'll make a simple dissolve in from 0 to 100. So I've animated, I've added the keyframes to all three of these location markers. We just need to time these now. So I'm going to select all of them and bring these in. So this is Italy first. We have Italy fading in. And then Morocco to grab Morocco in the United States. Time that. And I hope this isn't confusing you. I'm grabbing all these keyframes at the same time to kind of make it a little bit more efficient as opposed to keyframing them one at a time. Just create all the keyframes at once. And now we go over to the United States. And there we go. Our animation should be all finished. Let's take a look. And again, you can really customize this. You can change the colors, add more, more strokes to your location markers, use whatever you want. And in our example, I, I use some music. And you could even, if you want it to be just like the Indiana Jones movies, you can cut in a shot of a plane, you know, flying or some clouds. You can go crazy with this, and it's really fun. I love, I love making graphics, motion graphics with maps. And the last thing I did here for my sample one that you saw at the beginning was I added this song here. You can get this song naturally on premiumbeat.com. If you want to go to their website, you can find it. And I'm going to turn the volume down to not make it too loud. Now let's see if this works. But 
I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.